Guys, I am about to go behind the red door for real. I am here at the Red Door Spa, which of course was established by Elizabeth Arden way back when our show was set. Uh, I think in the 20s or maybe before that. Um, and it's still around, so I'm gonna go inside and do a little research and maybe get a little rejuvenation from my long hours at the theater. Let's go. The door's not red. She loved the uh, Time Magazine. Oh, genius. This is our show. Boys. So I'm here with the lovely ladies at the Red Door. What do you guys do? Well, who are you and what do you do? <laughs> so hi, I'm Christina Bennett. I head up the PR and the U.S. social media at Elizabeth Arden. And I'm Janet Kermy and I head up Global Education. Wonderful. Um, so I play an Arden girl in, in the show. And I thought it would be good to come in and do yeah. some research, figure out you know what it was like back in the day and get some history on the Red Door and on Elizabeth Arden, and I think that you guys have a lot of information on this, so... So, you've seen the show. I have seen the show twice. Yes. Big fan over here. <laughs> um, you've seen the... And the opening number is called Behind the, Behind Red, the Red Door. Door. And being an Arden girl on it, you know, we're helping all the patrons, we're giving them uh, colonics and we're <laughs> massaging them and like it's a very frantic number for us. Mm -hmm. Has that changed? Do you guys have a much calmer atmosphere around here? I think they try to make it appear calm but there's always behind <laughs> the scenes. That, well we try to <laughs> make it appear yeah, calm. Make, make it always appear great to the yes. guests but I think behind the scenes there's always a lot going on. Yeah. Make it work. Right? Yes. Yeah no it's very yeah, busy. Hard work. Um, it's very busy. A lot of hard work. Yeah it was such a proponent of yes. customer service. And as you know yeah. from you know being an Arden girl, and so that's something that we still hold really dear. That once you come behind the red door, that you're treated you know very specially, and that you feel luxurious and pampered. And as you also said, it's really holistic beauty, mm -hmm. and it was really about not just you know makeup, but relaxation and health. That's something that we were telling you about before. That Elizabeth Arden actually created the first destination spa, and when you were there, it was about your diet exercise and we have amazing pictures of her doing yoga and headstands and she was the first to talk about hydration and sun protection diet and its impact on your overall physical beauty and she felt very young that it was very important that health was part of beauty and that you couldn't have one without the other. So she was the first you can see Ardina she was the first yes. marketing yeah. genius she, mm -hmm. she was the first to put her name on a product because you know when you go in and you ask for a product you usually never say the name of the brand uh-huh. So she really wanted people to say, I need my Ardina Special Astringent. Look and look at how yeah. beautiful those are. They're so gorgeous. We talk so much in the show about how uh, the attention to detail and how sort of lavish and rich everything was. And you can tell. But it's so this true. one here, it's just a, I mean, a luxurious compact. Uh -huh. and if you notice, there's a little knob at the side, so it's a pressed powder that you could actually turn and grind it to make it into a loose powder. I want one of those. Yes. Now. Stunning. That's genius. I mean, way ahead of her time. That's technology that just came out in the past 10 years. So you feel a nice cooling mist. Mm -hmm. This can be done on clean skin or on top of makeup. Nice blend of antioxidants. Beautiful glow instantly. <gasps> You go in for some research, and you get that. Hi, everyone. We have a special guest appearance. We are with Magda. Uh, Magda. Uh, oh, excuse Magda. me. Mag Magda. Magda. Thank you. Um, and you are Helena's... Helena Rubinstein, assistant, maid, everything. Oh. oh. I take the dog pooping. I answer the door. I bring in the men. I bring the men out. I take jewelry, put it on the bed for hiding. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's. You're very close with her. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there's a in the show we have a number called Fire and Ice, which is a musicalized version of a real um, ad campaign that happened oh, um, with Revlon, and they put out 
this ad campaign with Dorian Lee and this gorgeous shimmery dress. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Yeah, it, yeah. Yes, it is. But along with it, there was a questionnaire mm -hmm. oh. um, with all these questions to see whether you are a fire nice girl. Okay. So I wanted to see if you want you to know are if one. I am a fire and ice girl. Yeah. Okay. I don't like fire. I don't like ice. Do women in sable excite you? Women in sable excite you. Is that a department store sable? What is it? Sable? No, no, it's women a fur. Women in sable. That's a fur. Yeah. That you wear. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Does women in sable excite you? Wait. <laughs> I think I'm beautiful, but that's okay. Probably.com. Is Magda beautiful? Write in and tell me. <laughs> it better be nice. <laughs> So we have a special edition of Beauty Tips this week with our guest star, Mary Claire King. Hi guys. Okay, we are going to give you the skinny on lip liner and how to change your lip for different decades because we span three decades in this show mostly um, and we have a different lip line for each one of those and that's how we sort of show the passage of time through our makeup. So here to demonstrate our lips is Mary Claire. Hi guys. Okay. Okay. We're gonna start with our 1930s lip um, which I like to think of as the heart-shaped lip. You can see it here in this beautiful yes. photo. Jean Harlow. Jean Harlow right here. So you see she's got these little, it's like a little sweetheart lip, so it's a little tiny heart, and it kind of gets really thin. And also, my lips are a little naturally uh, more pointy, so I try to round them out, kind of go, kind of overdo it. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start bigger. Mm, so there you can see the outline, it's still a little rough, but you yeah. can see how I'm kind of making it bigger, and then I'm swooping in super fast, so I'm not c catching the edge of my natural lip. <laughs> then, something that I learned from um, Angelina, our makeup designer, and also her assistant that we had in Chicago this summer, Christine, is using um, a brush to put on your lipstick. I've never done that before. I've never oh, had yeah. a need to. It's Whip. amazing. Brush. Uh huh. It allows you to be more specific. So now we're getting somewhere. You can see. You know what I found out this week when I went to the Red Door? Hmm. That Elizabeth Arden was the first person to really, like do a a tutorial, like a, a ah. beauty tutorial. But she did it through records. Like you would take home a record and listen to a beauty tutorial. So what is helpful with this show mm -hmm. is that the progression is um, really natural. So it like starts with thin eyebrows and a thin lip. Uh -huh. And then it moves to a fuller lip and a fuller brow kind of as we go. So yes. like the 40s is going to get a little more full. The 50s is going to be totally full, which is fun. Good. We're going to kind of exaggerate the shape of the lip. So my natural lip shape, a little pointy and drops down pretty, pretty quickly there. So what we want to do is like give a fuller look to the top. So again, we're going to overdo it. So, and it's going to be a little more round, less pointy. And then the bottom, we're just gonna kind of do fully. So, bada bing, bada boom, boom. Again, since it's fuller, it's a little easier to cheat. Yes, there we go. That's that's pretty good. Um, you know, again, if I had a little more time, you know, I'd go back and I would kind of. Just sharpen this up. The 50s is like my natural lip shape, so yeah. it works. It works. My beauty icon for this decade is the, the Joker. Joker. You look much more beautiful than the Joker. No, <laughs> well, don't we'll worry. See. <laughs> to the corners, so it almost like and it thins almost, out in the corners a little more than definitely. the 40s, which is a little rounder. Definitely, I think. yeah. It does. No, you're so right about that. This one, you can kind of see my residue a little bit, but again, we just want to get pointy, pointy, and nice and full. Time Thanks. traveling with Mary Claire King. Thanks, guys. Hi, I'm Chris, and this is your beauty mark. 
We delight in the beauty of the butterfly, but rarely admit the changes it has gone through to achieve that beauty. Maya Angelou.